I would like to invite on stage Mr. Gitesh Sharma, Additional Secretary, Political, Ministry of External Affairs, for his valuable input. Good morning. Namaskar, Jaswiti. I have immense pleasure in welcoming the participants of the India-Russia Students Conference. This is part of the celebrations of the 70th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between India and Russia. It is part of the celebration of a friendship between two countries with few parallels in the world. To commemorate the 70th anniversary, both countries had agreed on a roadmap and the majority of the events envisaged in the roadmap have been concluded. The focus of this event is education and brings together present and former Indian students who acquired and are acquiring their degrees from Russia. It brings together academic institutions of both countries and other organizations and agencies working for stronger ties in the field of education. Friends, partnership in education is an investment in the future of our relations. Spread of knowledge and increase in awareness has the greatest potential to strengthen bilateral ties. Indeed, investment in education is investment in the next generation. We have gathered today in New Delhi, but I'm happy that on the basis of internet and forms of advanced communication technology, from here we are almost simultaneously able to engage with colleagues and friends in other locations in India and in Russia. This is the world of today where information technology has changed in many ways the world we live in. It is a world where distance really does not matter. I have special pleasure in conveying our warmest greetings to friends who are joining in from Russia. Dobre Pajalovat. In a world that is changing rapidly, Russia remains and will always remain an important foreign policy priority for India. India and Russia enjoy a close and comprehensive partnership. The special understanding at the highest levels between the leaders of our two countries provides us guidance as we strive to further strengthen our ties. And the annual summits provide the anchor for this relationship. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has said, India-Russia relations have been the one constant in a world that has changed dramatically since 1947. Our friendship is based on a strong national consensus and support for India-Russia relations cuts across the entire political spectrum. In fact, there is an emotional basis to our ties with immense warmth among the common people of both countries. In 2000, our ties were elevated to that of strategic partnership and in 2010, this was further raised to special and privileged strategic partnership. There is practically no field in which both our countries do not cooperate and work together. Friends, as we celebrate the 70th anniversary, this year has seen an intensification of our relationship. We have had an unprecedented number of visits at the highest political level. Prime Minister Modi visited St. Petersburg for the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum 2017. We had the 18th annual bilateral meeting on the sidelines of this forum. In, and during this meeting, various agreements covering economic, political, and security areas were signed. Prime Minister Modi and President Putin have met two more times this year on the sidelines of multilateral events. 
India has participated in all the economic forums organized by Russia in St. Petersburg, Sochi, Ekaterinburg, and Vladivostok. EAM Simuti Shushma Swaraj visited Russia twice this year, once to attend the Eastern Economic Forum in Vladivostok, and then to Sochi to attend the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Heads of Government meeting. Foreign Minister His Excellency Sergei Lavrov had visited India recently for the Foreign Minister's meet in the RIC format. Dear colleagues, since independence, the then USSR had contributed towards India's economic, infrastructural, industrial and defence development and such cooperation extended to the educational field. The Indian Institute of Technology, Mumbai, for instance, was established with such assistance and scholarships were offered to a large number of Indian students for study in institutions whether it was in the field of medicine, pedagogy, engineering or language. Thousands benefited from such assistance. India benefited from such assistance. After the emergence of Russia in 1991, this model has undergone changes with reduction in the number of scholarships. But this has not stopped Indian students in opting for Russian for education in Russia. Educational institutions in India and Russia have impressive academic credentials and students graduating from them are making a strong contribution towards national development. Today, there are nearly 6,500 students studying in various universities in Russia. Majority of them have chosen to pursue education in the field of medicine. They are spread out in different parts of Russia. Education cooperation fortunately is not restricted to students in universities alone. During the 18th annual summit, for instance, Rosneft signed an agreement for training of specialists in the field of oil. We welcome different forms of cooperation which have the capacity and potential to train specialists in India. One reason our partnership is so enduring because it is a two-way process. Educational institutions in India are churning out outstanding talents of global stature. Many of them are household names worldwide as innovators and managers. They are driving the best known companies of the world and making a huge contribution to scientific research. We have seen an increase in the number of Russian students coming to Indian institutes for short-term and long-term courses that Government of India offers. But there is scope for more. We look forward to receiving students from Russia in larger numbers in our educational institutions. Dear friends, we also look forward to establishing stronger linkages between our respective educational institutes on the basis of information technology, exchange of educational material, lectures, and other kinds of information is possible in this manner. I am happy that this conference brings together many who have studied in Russia and also those who have first-hand knowledge of educational institutions of both countries. There are differences with respect to the environment in which our respective universities and institutes operate. There are other challenges as well in terms of language, culture and climate. Therefore, you have a special responsibility to generate ideas which may help in smoothening things and in spreading greater awareness of education opportunities both in India and in Russia. My dear friends, this students' conference
comes towards the end of 2017. We are only 13 days away from the new year. I would like to wish each one of you good health, happiness and success. Nay saal ke liye shukam nae ye jalayu vam shastir krip ka was zaroo bhi aai uspe ka. Thank you. Balshoyes kasiba. Dhaniwaad.